Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. That right, that is such a beautiful set. It's the, it's the coloring of it, isn't it? It's, it's such a beautiful combination of I really love that combination of color. I've always liked that combination of color. And this whole setup just looks fantastic. It looks absolutely fan schmastic. It's brilliant. Okay, we have got enough room to turn around on there. He's going to back up rather than go out onto the road, which is a good thing. And then turn around and it's just going to work his way across the field. So there may be like a little strip here and there that's left behind, but we don't need to worry about it. So you right here, we will put that one away. I will try to do something with the... Uh, auger wagon that we've got over there because uh, I don't much like that one doesn't seem to lift quite high enough for our trailers that we've got which is a bit of a nuisance now fold that one down and then I also want to go back to the header and drop it down here like this let's try reversing away from the header rather than driving into it and I'm just going to move this one down onto the side of the hill like I have with the other one. Now, if we have enough money, we do want to go and get a brand new massive great big combine. And I think that one big combine will work as effectively as these two combines working together. Um, and plus, it would allow us to do some other things at the, at the same time. So... That is definitely on the to-do list of stuff that I want to go and get. Now, we've got a little bit of grass here that we want to just tidy up at this end. There's probably going to be a bit over the other end as well that we want to tidy up. So, I'll grab the mowers here. So, yeah, there's also a bit there that it's gone and done very weirdly. So, I want to start that one up. I want to start that one up. And then I want to go to here. Control V and have to control V again to make it lower down, weirdly. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why it went to that bit there. That seems like an odd move to go and leave it out like that, but there is no understanding the logic of these tractors and the hired helps. So I'm just going to do that in a minute, tidy this up. Round. I know we don't really want to be doing this at the moment. We want to be getting the lorry out of the way, the straw starting to be picked up and stuff like that. But I'm still going to just get this one doing a little bit of work here as well. Bring that in over there like that. Right, that's fine. That's all done. So you can be folded up and you can be folded up as well. Oh, do I need to do something down this end? Uh, yeah, I guess we could... Uh, let me... Actually, not that one. Let me just do something with the front one like that. I'll do uh, just a, a pass along the front here like this with this one. So it's not going to be a lot, but... Let's get a little bit of extra grass on there. And then I won't worry about the bit that hasn't already been cut. We'll, we'll leave all of that. Okay, that can go there. And I can pick it up and fold it. So I can probably get like another two mowers widths on there. But I'm not going to worry about that today. We're just going to leave that. We'll drive this one back. We are going to need to start raking. I'm not going to worry about that yet. I will just get this one back to the yard. And then we can go back down to other vehicles and start focusing on those again. Uh, so we've got all of that straw that we want to pick up. That's going to be... It is going to be a bit of a time-consuming job picking up that straw. Because it's not just a case of picking up straw. We pick up 100, uh, 120, 240,000 litres, whatever it is that goes into that trailer. And then we've got to bring it all the way up here to the cattle yard. And this is the time-consuming bit is bringing it back up this way. That's the bit that takes the time. Um, even if we do move up in the world with a whole new system of getting stuff, so you, I need to just move you off the field out of the way. Um, so yeah, even if we do one lorry load, uh, we haven't got anything in our back trailer for this, so we've just got the front lorry here. 
223,000, but I mean, if we get 1,400 per thousand liters, that's going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, we, we're still going to need the forage wagon for doing straw. Uh, not straw, sorry, for doing uh, other stuff. What do you call it? Um, silage. We'll still need it for that, regardless of what we do with the rest of it. I'm just going to leave you there for a minute. I want that one or that one. I do want this one. I'm going to put this one away. And then I can put this one onto the forage wagon. So we'll have the blue and yellow. Uh, blue, blue, black and blue this time. Um, We're going to still need that forage wagon for doing silage. Now, we are going to be changing over the clamp that we've got. And we're going to be... This is like we're doing silage now. And we're going to do that into a clamp. And it's going to be the last time we use a clamp, I think. I don't think we'll be using a clamp again. This auger wagon, I'm not thrilled with this auger wagon. So I'm thinking we'll probably change that one out now pretty soon. And go for a bigger one. Whether we can just get the, the standard massive great big Stevie one or something like that. I'm not sure. It does depend on what else we get. The combine we're looking at does cost us a million, and we don't currently have a million available. So we've got to save up a little bit for that. I mean, yes, we do get nearly 10 grand an hour for our solar panels, which means that we are going to head towards achieving that goal pretty quickly, but there is still going to be time constraints. So we may not be getting our next combines just yet, or our next combine just yet. Um, it, it may take a little bit to, to get there. Um, I'm just wondering whether we should go for... No, we, we will do this straw harvest with um, the forage wagon. I was thinking maybe we could just sell the forage wagon, buy a baler, and do it like that. However, I need the forage wagon to go and get the straw pretty soon. I haven't really got anything else I can sell other than selling the wheat at a lower price, which, again, I don't really want to do. Now, I could speed, possibly speed this up a bit if I was to go and get the rake and put it in the field and start joining some of these lines of straw together. It's not always effective doing it. It's a bit sort of hit and miss. So, I mean, we are 35k up and down the field with this thing. So I don't think we really need to worry too much about it. I think we'll be fine just uh, running around like this. Um, got one seed drill working. Once we finish this field, we'll obviously be able to get a second seed drill going. And we'll get that one going in this field. And then we can sort of keep an eye on both of those while we're picking up straw as well. So we'll start off in this one and it'll move over into the... the slightly bigger field obviously and work its way around through there um i'm getting little lag spikes not quite sure why i'm wondering if it's something to do with the straw here that we're picking up whether it just doesn't like or if it's loading in a part of the map or if it's something to do with the hired help over the other side now if i drive down here i should be able to pick up both of these lines it's leaving little bits behind but Oh, I'm doing 35k down here. The problem we've got is that it's occasionally not quite picking up the straw, even though it is going on there. So 35k really is pushing the limit of how fast you can travel and pick stuff up. I think that's what the issue is here. It's just kind of bugging ever so slightly when I'm getting it to try and pick stuff up. It doesn't quite like it. So it goes a little bit slower, it should be right. It's only leaving little tiny spots. So it's not like it's leaving a, a massive great big area of it. Ooh! <clears throat> there is one thing that I have been asked to do, and that is to check shadows that are left behind after we remove an item. And the best way to test this is to remove a uh, electric pylon and then we see if it leaves a shadow on the ground after we've removed it. And we'll put it back afterwards. 
So we're going to do that in a minute. I'll finish filling up this trailer. And then we will go and do that little test with the pylon. And we'll see if it leaves a shadow on the ground. So I'm definitely going to do that. Even though we're doing 35k across the field, I am starting to think that maybe it would still be considerably faster if we were to go and run the rake in front of us and put some of these rows two into one. It won't put three into one, but it would put two into one, which means slightly less traveling on the field. Although we haven't got that much field to do. Once this one's done, we kind of... You, you've almost broken the back of it by that point. You've got the... Um, there's the, the big field, the next one over. But again, that one's probably not more than one trailer load. So again, it's, it's not going to be a, a huge thing to go and get that. It's just a, a little bit extra. I don't think we will. I don't think we'll worry about it. I think, I think we can leave that. So we can just bring this one along here like this and then once we've picked up this like i said we'll get the seed drill started in here and we can get the barley planted in this field as well so we'll be straight into straw again and i'm hoping by the time we're back into straw again we will be able to afford to buy the baler which would be really good so we're gonna need to have a trailer that will be able to pick up those bales not much of an issue i don't think we shouldn't have any problem um Having something, we can just go with a, a single flatbed. There is one there. Um, I could very well get the correct mod um, activated on this map. So there's the, the nice little set that I've been using in the time lapse series, which I actually rather like. Um, we might go and use that one in here. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to get everything into the trailer here entirely sure that I am going to get everything into it. Uh, quite possibly not. See, I'm getting these little, like, spikes. And I don't know if it's anything to do with our seed drill. I mean, our seed drill is still running there. There's, there's no indication... Yeah, we'll easily get everything into the trailer here. That's, that's not going to be a problem. Um, there's, there's no indication that we're getting trouble from it. But, I mean, it could still be. But it, it's standard hired help. I'm not doing anything extra with that. I'm still getting just, like, little glitchy moments. Which is weird. Because I don't normally get those. Which is, again, why I'm thinking that perhaps it is down to the straw and not down to the hired help over any other field. It's like there was two bits coming down the field here. It was that bit right there next to us and another bit just up there where we were still running over the top of it, but it didn't pick it up. Which was odd, to say the least. Very, very odd. So some, there's something going on here in the background. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um... But we're nearly done with the field, which means that it is going to be time to go and check out the pylon. We will take a little detour onto our hard-working tractor over doing the planting and just make sure that, that one is planting everything as it should be before we go doing the pylon thing. Let's go and pick up these little bits, shall we? There's one right there. And one bit over here, and that is everything picked up off of this field. And looking rather snazzy with it. Okay, so that's that bit all done. I got another 30,000 litres just under of space available. Oh, no, there's another little bit right there, so I'll scoop that up. Excuse me, coming through. Don't mind me. Look, I've got my beacons on, so you have to let me through. It's the law. It indicates that I am high priority. And you can wait right there a minute. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this one over here. It seems to be doing a great job, actually, coming in round. We've got plenty of room for turning round on there. I will go to landscaping, which is down here at the moment. We will whiz up across here and it's this way that I wanted to go just to look briefly and you can see we've actually we're getting right up to the end of the field up there no issues there at all there's no lines there's no bits left behind same down here so we've got a nice even spread all the way across the field I'm quite happy with that 
And I'm quite happy with all the work that you're doing. So you stay there doing that. And then I want to go... Actually, I don't need to worry about you. I will just check the price a minute. No, not even close. Okay, so that, that's going to be a fair bit later. Uh, which means that... I actually want to go straight back to this one. Oh, no. No, no, no. I almost forgot. Almost forgot. Uh... The nearest one that we can test. Actually, here. We can test it right here. So there's one up there on that hill. Or there's one right here. Let's go and test this one. We'll see what this one's like with the shadow on the ground. So I've been told what you'd like me to do is to test and see if the shadow stays. So wait, there is the shadow from the pylon on the ground right there like that. So I'll bring up this one. So we should just go, go up to it, press H. And there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Hide the pylon right there. And the shadow disappears as well. Shadow is gone. So it is quite good like that is quite realistic like that that the shadow has disappeared if we wanted to get rid of those wires we'd have to do something different so now if i go left shift h that'll bring up the list here so i've got lod i got a tree over there that i've hidden that's not one that we were able to remove i've got a rock right there and I got stream rock over there behind that one so that one is in the field that we've got this one's away into the field that we've got so we don't want that one back and then we've got the pylon up here so we're going to restore the pylon not going to do okay that is absolutely fantastic that comes right up there now we've already planted over that one um but the fact that we actually see the tractor working on here while we're looking at this i really love that and the color on there is so sharp and clear as well that's that's really good Okay, so it does get rid of the shadow. That has answered that little question. Now we will come down to here. And we... I'm not going to start from this side, actually. I'm going to go over here and I'll start going up that side there. Come over here. And I'll start it running up through there like that. Where we started with the combine. We've only got to get about 30,000 litres in here, and then this one we take o take back over. Once i filled this one up, I will drive all the way over to the cattle yard, and we will tip out. Then I will get the red tractor onto the, the, the red and black tractor. I'll get that one hooked onto the sea drill, and I'll take that over to field 13, and we will start planting in there. That's the one just the other side of these trees, just over there. Uh, we'll start planting up in there. And then we will, after we've done that little bit, uh, got, well, got started on that little bit, we will then um, carry on here with doing our straw. So there is 240,000 litres of straw, all filled up. Next trailer load should just about finish this field in here. So the sea drills are not going to be very much, uh, not very far behind. And like I said, hopefully by the time we get to our next straw harvest, we'll be using a baler rather than this one. Because I think overall it's going to be a little bit faster. Because we have to take this all the way over to the cattle yard, empty out, and then drive all the way back. And we're going to need to do, there's going to be, we would guess, at least two more full loads. So there's a little bit of driving backwards and forwards. So if we've got a baler, we can just whiz up and down with the baler and it'll be quick, easy and job done. If we've got a bigger combine so that we've got a much wider header, it's going to be even faster. It's going to be even quicker job done, which I would really like. So I'm kind of curious. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm in an iron about... Um, what we should go for whether we should go for the baler next or whether we should go for the big combine next and then kind of hope that we get enough for the the baler afterwards i don't know i mean the baler i don't think is actually very expensive at the combine i mean i could just go with the standard price combine 
Um, but I do feel that the combine I'm looking at, the Stevie one, with all of that extra capacity and speed and everything else that goes with it, I do feel that just going for the half million one, the normal priced one, it's... It just seems like I'm tweaking the game a little bit too much in my favour. To be able to have all of those extra bonuses, I kind of feel like I should be paying a decent price for it. Uh, straw. Okay, we're only half full on straw, so we will dump in some, in, dump some in here first. And then I'll empty out the rest of this trailer load into the mixed feeder. Right, so I'm going to bring you back round here. Always going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze fitting our straw into there. So we'll go like that. Uh, not R, that's reload. Uh, R is empty out. That one down there, and that's going to take out probably 10 to 20, okay, 40,000 litres of straw gone into there. A little bit more than I expected. So 200,000 litres of straw left over. I'm going to put that straight into this one. The remaining straw that we collect, that will go into the actual storage. So we've got 275,000 there already. It's going to put it up to half a million. These here, each unit takes 10 million straw. Uh, well, 10 million uh, litres. So we've got 10 million straw, 10 million hay, and 10 million silage. We'll go over that side. Once it empties out. Oh, it's doing that. Maybe we could start rowing up some of this. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Uh, oh, while it's emptying out, there's a couple things that I want to do, actually. So we will start doing some rowing up. But bring you over this way first. We'll drop the front mower down there. Uh, lower it down and unhitch. And then the back one, we don't have the luxury of being able to lower it down. We've got to just throw it onto the ground unceremoniously into a heap. Which is something that always, always bugs me. Don't like having to do that. We're going to get this one. I'm not going to do anything around the edge on, at least not on the little field that we got right here. I'm just going to let the hired help get on with straight up and down the rows. Whether or not that's going to be a good decision, we will see at the end of it. Because I haven't actually done this before, I don't think. I think I've always done one round around the outside edge before I start doing anything else. I will bring that over a bit because a little tiny bit stuck out on the side. I do want to gather that up, so uh, let's lower you down there, and off you go. Right, I'll let that carry on, and it'll do whatever it does. I'm, I'm not going to get involved with it too much. Uh, you are uh, busy. This is the one that I'm after. I've got... Actually, the seed drill is parked by that other tractor, so let's just use the other tractor for now. That one's still going strong in there, and we'll use this one, and he can go on to this tractor. We'll be selling this tractor at some point. I'm just... I won't sell it just yet. Let's uh, switch that over to barley, and I was going to load this one up with fertilizer and barley, um, but we've only got like 200 euros left in the in the kitty now, so we're gonna we're about to go into negative equity, which means that we're also about to. Uh, not be able to buy anything at all. But that's that's not really much of an issue. One more hour and we'll make up for everything that um, we, we might be missing out on. And I'm not going to be able to get through there, am I? Let's just slow down a little tiny bit. Drive a little bit more sensibly. We will bring you out around here like this. And... Should I drive up and down that way? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try putting the hired help in there. So it's already left a little bit on the end there. But I'm going to leave the hired help going here. And then I'm going to do the tidy up work afterwards. Once it's gone and done, it's lines up and down the field. Now, that could end up causing us some problems. But we'll wait and see on that one. I'm, I'm not going to um, worry about it too much just yet. That one seems to be doing all right with the raking. It's got a little bit of a bank there that's having to turn around on at the moment. If you could get out of my way, that would be fantastic. There we go. It's going to drive right into me then. 
So we need to get back down to the bottom again and go and carry on picking up on the big field. Hopefully we'll get most of that field clear by the time the seed drill finishes on our new big field. So it's no longer... The, the one that I've been calling the big field is no longer the big field now. Now we have the, the triple field. I suppose we could just call it the triple field. We got the triple field and then we still got the big field. And the big field technically I don't think is even the biggest field that we got. Even if you ignore the triple field. Because I think that field 13 is actually a little bit bigger than field 14. So I think there's... Um, even though we've been calling it the big field, field 13 is slightly bigger than that one. But it was the big field to start with until we got field 13. And field 13 is field 13. We're going to... That one is, is, is number 13. Um, you know, we've got to specify that it's 13 because 13 is such a lucky number. I mean, yes, I, I, I get that there are people out there who do consider 13 to not necessarily be the luckiest of numbers. Um, and you're entitled to your opinion. But I was born on Friday the 13th, so I've never personally had any kind of serious issues with the number 13. Um, it seems to have done all right for me. Uh, therefore, I'm going to continue to call this field, field 13. This one right here that I'm just now coming into is the big field. This one is ultimately going to end up being one of the smaller fields that we own. But uh, again, that, that's not really, that's neither here nor there, is it? It doesn't matter. It'll be absolutely fine. Can I get, actually I should be able to because field 13 is actually bigger than the big field. We should, there's no reason to think that we shouldn't get every single ounce of straw that is left in here into this forage wagon and a good chunk of the original fields as well, the small fields. So that's 15 and 16. We're going to need to think up names for all of these rather than just doing them by number. Calling them by number just it doesn't seem right. We, we, we definitely need to have the... the um, you know, names for different fields. E even if that they are, you know, the, the traditional farming um, methods of naming that I've talked about previously, either in this series or the the other series. I do like the blue and black combination that we've got with this, but it's not quite as jazzy as the yellow. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.